Hello, good day. Good day. Today is very. It gives me great joy to to see you in this video today. And um, today I'll be discussing uh, the subject of scope in research. Scope is very important um, to the extent that you you have to define your scope early in the study. Usually, scope will come if you are writing a dissertation, a project, or a thesis or even a, a research report, scope will probably come in your chapter one, in your introductory section, in your introductory chapter. Because um, after you write your introduction and background, and you after you have tried what was possible to write your segment of the problem, objectives, or hypothesis, or research question, or conceptualization, you have to write just you have to write scope. Scope will let us know what you are really interested in on how deep you want to go in your exploration. So scope scope simply means the boundaries of, of your of your research. How deep do you want to go? What are you exploring? And what's the coverage of that? So scope, you can even take scope to be related to delimitation of study. Delimitation, I mean D E L I M I T A T I O N. Delimitation. That is you are sending the boundary, the, 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 the framework for your work. To what extent do you want to go? In terms of uh, coverage, it can be geography, it can be social, it can even be your study population. It can even be uh, your, your remit of studies in the sense that what is your social, cultural, economic, geographical, and methodological boundary of your work. So scope is very important because it has implication for resources you are deploying, resources in terms of fund, in terms of time, in terms of energy, in terms of competence, in terms of infrastructure. So you have to define your scope very well. Unfortunately, sometimes people have problems in their research because their scopes are not carefully, are not carefully identified in the, in the course of the work. Scope is very important and you must not be too ambitious. Your scope is not how wide or how large the work is that makes your work very reasonable or very interesting. It's how well defined, how well conceptualized your topics or your issues are and how well scoped the work is. So from the scope, we can know the direction towards which you want to travel. So take quality time to explain your scope, to justify your scope. This is your scope, but why are you scoping the work in this way? Why are you including this? in your study? Why are you leaving this out? Why are you covering this and you are not covering this? Let us know. That's why scope is very important. And what would normally determine your scope? You also have to explain. What would determine your scope, like I've, uh, I've uh, mentioned earlier, would be time. How much time do you have? If you are doing a, if you are writing a project, undergraduate project, you can't frame your, you can't scope your work like you are writing a thesis. Undergraduate projects sometimes will not be more than three months or six months. But if, so the scope has to be minimal. But if you are talking about PhD, um, thesis for a PhD, then you're talking about three years on the average globally. So definitely the scope of, uh, of your PhD must be more than your, ma your, your BSc. Uh, even your ma dissertation for your master's, some, some countries just one year, some 18 months. So the time will be very important. And how much resources do you have in terms of funds? Then how much competence do you have in terms of capacity to deliver the work? So these are things you have to bring into bear, capacity, experience, time, funds, even population you want to study may be, may place, may determine your scope. The, 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 how, how, how many are they, how accessible are they, will determine your scope. But the more important thing is that you have to well, you have to well state, you have to state your scope very well, your scopes. Or your scope of your study must be well stated and well justified. Justification is the very important in scoping. Why are you scoping this way and why are you not scoping that way? It's very important. Don't be realistic. Don't be over ambitious. Like I said, it's not how big or how large the work is that will determine the reliability and validity. It's how well you scope your work. And this scoping will determine your methodology and will assist us to know what to expect from your work. So it's to make your work well focused and to well guide, be well guided. So you don't waste time, you don't waste resources. I don't put you don't put yourself in unnecessary quagmire. So you are clear, and it gives you clarity. If your your work is not well 
scoped, you will waste time, waste resources, and you'll be confused over time. And we don't want you to be confused. Therefore, scope your work very well. From your scope, we can know the, 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 what your findings, what your methodology should be, and what your findings should be. And when you are, we are reading your conclusion, your recommendations, your discussion, your contribution to knowledge, it's easy for us to see the work as a single entity. So take your scope very seriously. Until I see you in the next video, subscribe to this channel. Comment, like, and share as wide as possible. Your subscription is very important. And we have many contents waiting down the line. And I'm sure you will, you will never regret subscribing to this channel. That is scope for you. Scope your work very well so you will not be confused and you won't waste resources. And your work will be clear. Until I see you in the next video, keep being your best.